If you're looking for a great stuffing recipe, you've come to the right place. It's always best to gather all your ingredients before you begin. Today I'm going to show you how to make stuffing, really delicious stuffing that everybody dreams about having on Thanksgiving. Stuffing is definitely a popular, popular side dish. I took a survey and hundreds of people voted as stuffing to be their favorite. It was the number one winner of all the side dishes that I mentioned. So I'm going to show you how to make it. I took a one pound loaf of French bread. I diced it, put it on a baking sheet for 10 minutes in the oven, dried it out, tossed it halfway through so everything's nice and firm and crispy. You can hear that? It's nice and crunchy. That will uh, ensure that your stuffing is going to be delicious and fluffy without being heavy and mushy. I don't really like heavy, thick, wet, mushy stuffing, so if you're like me, this is totally the recipe for you. Um, I have here uh, two eggs that I've beaten, whoops, and uh, two tablespoons of melted butter. And then in this pan, what I did was I sauteed um, about a cup of onion and three stalks of celery. The celery was a little bit more of a cup and a quarter. And I sauteed them, added some salt and pepper, then I added poultry seasoning and some dry sage. Uh, poured on the uh, chicken broth and allowed the chicken broth to get hot and then I took it off the stove. So the celery and onions are not mushy. I didn't cook them until they were completely soft. I prefer them a little, have a lot more texture, especially in stuffing when I bake it, I want to make sure that each item uh, has a great texture. If you prefer it softer, cook them longer. Uh, that's not a problem. It's your stuff and you get to make it the way you like it. <laughs> and a lot of people mentioned the two varieties of stuffing that they really looked forward to at Thanksgiving was sausage stuffing. So all you do is take a pound of ground sausage and you're going to cook it up. It's that easy. You're going to layer that in when you mix up the sausage, uh, the, sorry, the <laughs> stuffing. Um, the other one was cranberries. Now you can put in fresh cranberries and they will cook down because you're going to bake this. And if you prefer dried cranberries, that was another option. Put in a cup of dried cranberries or a cup to a cup and a half of fresh cranberries. You could add a cup of walnuts, pecans, uh, the other options are water chestnuts, and some people mentioned oyster stuffing. So if that's your deal, you go right ahead and add those in. Uh, I would saute the oysters in butter and garlic and then put them in. So, lots of options, and I will get started by um, pouring the uh, butter over the toasted bread. And then I'm going to pour my... Chicken stock and onions and celery. Okay. You can actually hear the bread absorbing it. But I think the sound of my oven that is preheating is um, preventing you from hearing it. But you can actually hear it absorbing. So you're going to give this a toss. Now, if you want your stuffing softer, add more chicken broth. If you like it light and fluffy, then uh, the minimum amount that I mentioned in the recipe would be plenty. Um, I prefer everything on the drier side versus the wet, mushy side, but everybody likes their stuffing a little bit different, so you go right ahead and try a couple of different ways over the, make, don't wait till Thanksgiving to make stuffing, make it more often, make different varieties, you'll see what you and your family like. Okay, so I tossed all that. Now the key here is eggs. You want to put two eggs in. It's kind of like making French toast. You would definitely add eggs to French toast. It's going to allow the French toast to plump back up and get a, a really great texture. So you're gonna add that and give that a toss. And if you didn't add salt and pepper when you were cooking your onions and celery as I did, you'll add salt and pepper now. Then you're just gonna pour it into a dish. I know. This is really not that difficult, but I think everybody makes things out to be a little more difficult than they are. So cranberry sauce, sugar, water, cranberries. You could add orange juice, you could add whatever you want. I make it with wine, I've made it with maple flavor, maple and bacon. I've made so many varieties that they're all delicious. I think the red wine one is really delicious. So I might make that one this year. All right, so you're just gonna pour 
get into your casserole dish. And then you're going to bake it in the oven covered for about 20-25 uh, minutes and then you're going to uncover it for the last uh, 10 minutes. And And here is the baked stuffing. I hope you enjoy this easy recipe. Be sure to go to my website and print it out. And I also have a recipe for baking a perfect turkey. I also have recipes for all your Thanksgiving and holiday needs on my website, created by Diane.com.